don't think people understand how much food dyes are actually in things that kids are getting. I feel like we could do better as a society and as a system. You know, I feel, you know, even though it's it sounds trivial where people go, oh, you know, right now we're trying to get food dyes out of food and stuff. And it sounds trivial. And I and it does to a certain degree. However, we have to start somewhere. There has to be a starting point to make change. And if we can make this one change, especially for children, I mean, I don't think people understand how much food dyes are actually in things that kids are getting. And if we are just thinking about, you know, free, you know, we have a lot of people in the United States that need free meals, kids needing free breakfast, free lunches, and what's served a lot of the times. Well, Pop-Tarts, cereal, you know, packaged foods. So if we could get this one thing, and if we can alter and change and get food dyes out of this thing across the board in the United States, I mean, I think it was some, I, I want to say when I looked up the statistic a really long time ago, it was like over like 50 to some odd percent of kids actually still consume cereal for breakfast. So if, especially in schools. So if we can get them to change this one thing, we're hoping it's going to have a trickle down effect. 